Hello, and welcome back to TK's Bar. I'm your host, Tessa, and today we're making an off-the-wall cocktail. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome back. I've taken a little bit of a break just to educate myself and figure out where my space on this platform is, and that is to create a very inclusive space for everyone where we can just have fun and mix drinks and unwind from the day. Um, with that being said, there'll be a zero tolerance for any sort of hate in the comments, whether that's transphobic, racist, homophobic, sexist, anything like that. I don't want to hear it and you probably will be blocked right away. And with that being said, I'm also going to leave a couple links below on places you can donate and also just other places where you can educate yourself just on everything that's going on right now and kind of what's been going on for a long time. Yeah. It is also Pride Month this month, and so with that, I wanted to do a cocktail in honor of that and bring your attention over to something that you may not have known. So we're gonna take it back to 1969 New York in Manhattan, specifically Greenwich Village, which is home to the Stonewall Inn. And the Stonewall Inn is a gay bar that it would have to tip off the police so then they would be raided. But on June 28, 1969, they were raided, and it was done so in a very aggressive way. They took people who they suspected of cross-dressing into the bathrooms to check their gender so then they could arrest them for cross-dressing because at the time it was illegal. Basically, these people had had enough, and so they started rioting. So at the forefront of this, a predominant member was Marsha P. Johnson, who was a black trans advocate and also a self-identifying drag queen, which is really cool but she's not really mentioned as much as she should be, so I wanted to bring some attention to that. So here she is. And yeah, basically these riots on that day gave way to six more days of protesting, which is a catalyst for a lot of gay rights movements today. So there's a little piece of history for you. I'll leave a couple links below if you wanna read a bit more about it. So. The drink that we're gonna be making today is from a bartender who works at the Stonewall Inn. It wasn't at the time that these things were happening, but a fair bit later on. Um, and again, I got this off the internet, the drink, so I can't 100% validate that it is 100% from the Stonewall Inn, but I thought it was a cool sounding drink, so we're gonna make it anyways. And uh, you got to learn a little bit something new if you didn't know already, but let's get straight into making the drink. So the bartender who made this drink, her name is Mel, and she described it as vivacious and provocative with a hint of edginess and spice. And you're gonna see why in just a second. So we're gonna go through our ingredients pretty quickly, but I'll go through them anyways. <laughs> Today we're doing a vodka-based cocktail and we're using a special type of vodka for the first time. Um, this is Kettle One Mint and Cucumber because they calls for cucumber vodka. You can find different cucumber vodkas. I just thought this one would be cool because this drink also has mint in it. So we're gonna try this one today. Then we're also gonna need some pomegranate juice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of palm, but I couldn't find anything else. So this is what we're using today. Then we also have our simple syrup. This is just a one-to-one -one simple syrup like I normally use. If you don't know how to make simple syrup, I do have something on my TK's Bar highlights on Instagram, but I also will be making a video on how to make simple syrups and different types of simple, or different types of syrup as well. So you should check that out when I come up with it. Then we're going to need our freshly squeezed lime juice. Um, again, this is fresh squeezed, but you can use uh, store-bought if you want. So then we've got our mint. This is beautiful fresh mint. I strongly suggest if you are bartending or even if you're cooking to have fresh herbs on hand because they elevate your drinks, they elevate your food, they elevate everything. So I highly suggest making or like growing fresh herbs at your house. And then I've also got some ginger here. This one's a bit gnarly, but we're just grating a little bit off. So that's fine. <laughs> and then our last ingredient, it calls for white peppercorns. I spent the entire day looking for white peppercorns at every store around me and I could not find them. So we're just using like a little peppercorn medley because it does have white peppercorns in it, but it's like predominantly black peppercorns. So this is the closest thing I have today, but if you have white peppercorns, use those. Okay, so we've got our shaker here and we're gonna start off with an ounce and a half of our vodka. Wow, that smells really good. Then we're gonna move on to half an ounce of our pomegranate juice. 
then half an ounce of our simple syrup, then half an ounce of our lime juice. Then I've just chopped up about half of a thumb sized piece of ginger and we're gonna throw that in. So then we're gonna do six grinds of our peppercorns. So now we've got all of our ingredients in here except our mint and we're gonna give this a quick muddle. Then I've got four mint leaves here and we're just gonna throw those in as well. And I'll just tell you right now, it smells super fresh. You can smell the mint for sure. And then you can also smell a little bit of that ginger coming through and I'm really excited because I think this is gonna be an awesome cocktail. So now we've got everything in here and we're just gonna throw some ice and give it a quick shake. And then we're gonna double strain this because there's a lot of extra stuff in here. The glassware we're using today is just a coupe glass. Um, you've seen me use this on my channel before. If you don't have a coupe glass, I would strongly suggest just putting it in a like singles glass with some ice, but this is the way that it was meant to be served, so this is the way we're gonna serve it today. And we're just gonna double strain it in. Perfect. And then to garnish this, you can either garnish it with some cucumber, you can garnish it with some mint, you can garnish it with some uh, candied ginger or sugared ginger, but today I think I'm gonna try and do mint and cucumber. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Perfect. And so there we have our off the wall cocktail. So look at how pretty that color is. So I think this is gonna taste super good, but I'm gonna have to try it first before I know. So the last thing we have to do is just try this. Oh my goodness, that is so good. <laughs> I normally am not a huge fan of vodka cocktails, but this is amazing. This is so good. It's not super pomegranate-y or anything like that. It feels very fresh. I need to take another sip. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's sweet, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet, but it's also got that freshness from the mint and the cucumber, and you can't really taste the ginger, but I kind of know it's there. <laughs> um, and the same with the pepper, you know? Like, uh, you can't really taste the pepper. It's not gonna be a predominant flavor, but, um, I think that all those other things just round out the drink really, really well. It's such a good drink. I definitely suggest, if you have all these ingredients, I would strongly suggest making this at home. It's so refreshing, beautiful for a sunny day. It's raining right now, but beautiful for a regular sunny day. It's so good. Highly recommend this cocktail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I strongly suggest making this cocktail at home. It's so good, trust me. But. Anyways, I will be going back to my reg regularly scheduled content this week and next week and the next week after and all that <laughs> good stuff. But if you like my channel and you like me, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below and then also subscribe to my channel. You can even turn on the bell if you want. If you like this style of content where I give you a bit of history before the drink, let me know because I'd love to do more of it if you guys are into it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.